Hey, what's going on fellow YouTubers? Thank you guys for joining me with today. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update about what I'm looking at and wanted to make a quick announcement to help you guys out. Uh, this is concerning how to boot from your SATA drive using a particular USB cable. Um, as you guys see in front of me, I have a Sabrent USB cable. This one's rated for USB 3.0, as you guys can see here. And then of course we have the Nest Pi case. This is the Nest Pi case, uh, the Nest Pi 4. You guys recently saw me do a review of this uh, a few days ago. So, um, and apparently this is obviously the SATA drive here. So one of the biggest things in the community, and I've known other YouTubers have mentioned this. I was talking to Wolf and Oates and some of the other guys in the RetroPie community, and we were trying to figure out how come some of the SATA drives typically won't boot. Um, I know the Kingston's typically work, but there are issues with the Samsung's. Obviously, I'm using a Samsung Evo now. Uh, the WD drives and some of the other SATA drives. And so I just personally thought it would be a cool thing to boot from the SATA drive. So uh, the purpose of this video is to kind of talk to you guys about what particular cable to watch out for and what type of script you guys can use to possibly boot for uh, from your uh, SATA drive so you guys can go ahead and use that slot. So uh, with this particular SATA drive, uh, there is a command line you do have to type in. You guys can see that there on your screen. And then, of course, I'll also have it listed in the description below. Now, again, that command line may not work for every SATA drive, but it does give you guys something to go on. I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to find that because it's a little time consuming as far as how to find your particular ID. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of time, but there is a quick way to really do that. But I wanted to make sure uh, and talk to you guys about this really quick. So um, I honestly don't know what cable this is or what it's rated for because I don't have a spec sheet for the Nest Pi case that tells me all the equipment that they used in here. But I strongly believe that this is a USB 3.1 cable that is going from the 3.1 slot to a SATA connection. The reason why I believe that is because this particular cable is a USB 3.0. I bought it from Newegg for about nine bucks. It does work on my computer. However, the Pi not boot directly from this drive, even if I have this plugged into a USB 3.0 port. So long story short, um, I was thinking about ordering a new cable because for, unfortunately a lot of the local stores are really out of stock right now due to COVID. Stores like Target, obviously I didn't expect them to have it. Uh, Best Buy, they don't have it. And I don't feel like making a special trip to Micro Center and then coming to find, you know, find out that it doesn't work. But um, I was talking to Wolf Nose, he has it. Uh, a cable that is specifically rated for USB 3.1, and he has verified that it does work. Um, I have not personally tested uh, tested it to find out if it will work on my particular cartridge or my particular SSD, but I just wanted to let you guys know that if you guys are having troubles and you guys are looking for a particular cable to possibly boot from your SATA drive, you will need to make the investment in a rated 3.1 cable and not a standard 3.0. As you guys see here, this is a 3.0 cable. So um, just make sure of that and just wanted to keep you guys up to date uh, with that. And so uh, obviously this little case works really well. Uh, the other thing is too, since I've had this case now for a couple of days, the cartridge did get stuck. So I had to use a screwdriver to kind of pull it out. I had to stick it here in the top and then kind of pull it out a little bit. So make sure you don't jam this cartridge in the uh, case. But honestly, I don't think I pressed too hard, but it did get stuck. So I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. But um, again, just wanted to make sure that you guys are aware of what type of cables to look out for when you guys are buying, if you guys are trying to boot from your SSD drives. So um, this is Keel Dyken. Hope this little tutorial and review uh, helps you guys out. I'll catch you guys next time. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.